guys, we're back with another wine recommendation video. And this time we're gonna be working with wines that are actually 300 pesos and below. Can we find wines that are good under this really low price point? Let's find out. Today we're working with three wines from the New World regions. These three wines are actually of the Shiraz or Cabernet Sauvignon variety. So I have my work cut out for me to be able to distinguish the small nuances that would make one better over the other. From most expensive to the cheapest. You might be excited to know how low the pricing gets. For our first wine, I'm featuring this 2019 Shiraz from Australia exclusively distributed by Rustan Supercenters. So I really hope that even as Rustan's was bought out by the Robinsons group, this partnership that they're having with this Red Peak collection um, continues. I hope this is not a product that they suddenly drop. I could pick up oak. There's also a very woody type of scent. I think it might be sandalwood. The rest of the aroma is quite typical of Shiraz and let's give it a taste. For those of you who are not too fond of dry or bitter wine, this full-bodied wine is more on the medium body profile. It's sweet, not so the sweet, quite pleasant when it hits the palate. And initially it goes down, you think it doesn't have a strong finish. It actually lingers pretty well. So it's similar to the pairing recommendations that I gave with the Merlot that I mentioned two videos ago. So as a Shiraz that's on the lighter side, I think it would lend itself well to tomato-based pastas, smoked pig, <laughs> smoked pork, pork barbecue. So, so this Shiraz from Red Peak costs 285 pesos. And like I said, the prices are about to go down from here. So from Australia, we make our way down to South America, crossing the Pacific. We have this wine from Chile, a Cabernet Sauvignon Shiraz. You can buy this at SM Robinsons. I used to only see this at either Pioneer Center or Pure Gold, but this year they seem to be omnipresent. I guess they've ramped up their distribution and good for them because this is actually good quality wine also. Hints of light licorice, a little chocolatey also, light hints of coffee as well. On the nose, it had different flavor profiles, but once it goes down, the dominating flavor would be berries, blueberries, light hints of cherries. It seems that the aromas and the actual taste are somewhat incongruent. I won't take it against them. It's still a pretty good Cabernet Sauvignon Shiraz. Since it's somewhat of a light Cabernet Sauvignon Shiraz, I think it would lend itself well to saucy casseroles, something like an afritada, caldereta. It's actually not dry. The sweetness could withstand like a bit of heat. So if you have like a spicy caldereta or even spicy lechon, I think it would lend itself well there because I've had like spicy lechon and then you had like a spicy Cabernet Sauvignon and it's just too much pepper. It's just overpowering the palate. So if you do come across red wine that aren't dry, then you could do spicy foods. So this wine branded as Pudu is priced at 275 pesos. If you tend to like wines that are not too dry, then this is something that you can definitely try out. Are you excited to know how much the last one costs? So this is an Australian wine from the state of Victoria and it's branded as Lindemann's Kawara Shiraz Cabernet. So Lindemann is actually one of the bigger wine producers in this region and in Australia. So right away, you could smell pepper, bell pepper. This is more typical of full-bodied wines and of the Shiraz or Cabernet varieties. The main difference with this one, when it hits your mouth, it actually coats your mouth and it feels sweet at the start, but once it starts going down, it tends to dry up very fast and you can feel the tannins moving in. Uh, for those who like their drinks drier or maybe more alcoholic, this might be your drink. So as a full-bodied red wine, this would pair well with your typical red meat. Um, again, steaks, pork chops, like salpicao and you know, really salty but not spicy type of um, dishes. So for the big reveal, this Lindemann's Kawara Shiraz Cabernet from Australia cost me only 190 pesos. 
but the caveat is it's actually part of a three pack so it's three four five hundred seventy nine so it's good value and that three pack you can only get from SNR and you're gonna say well I'm not an SNR member neither am I so I had this delivered via Metromart it's such a steal it's such a good deal value I mean you can't beat Lindemann's Kawara Shiraz Cabernet perhaps on taste and flavor profile this would be my winner of course these are all good if I were to rate it out of 10 this would probably be an 8 for the red peak Shiraz the Pudu from Chile 7.3 the Lindemann's Kawara Shiraz Cabernet would be a 7.6 Thanks again for watching guys. I'm glad that I found an excuse to buy more wine and drink for you guys. You know, let's keep drinking. <laughs> uh, so if you've liked this video, hit like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers!